The SUI token is up 77% over the past month and up over 440% on the year as the blockchain has seen rapid adoption and growth. Now, in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show, I want to talk about a SUI product we have not yet covered on the channel, which could be another major catalyst for this altcoin, and that is the SUI Play device, as we did get more information on this from the Mistin Labs CEO. You can expect to hear about all of this as well as a price update for Sui in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor, nor do I offer any sort of financial advice on YouTube. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find the videos informative and entertaining, please consider hitting that sub and like button. And I do appreciate all the support on the channel. You guys are amazing. So without further ado, we are going to get right into today's altcoin of discussion, and that is going to be the SUI token, which I have been covering more on the channel recently because I do believe that this altcoin will continue to be one of the biggest winners of this bull run. We've spoken a lot about the blockchain growth, the rapid blockchain growth here and development on the ecosystem, which we will take a look at later in this video. But I do want to discuss another catalyst, which is the SUI play device, which is basically their play play on the blockchain gaming sector. Um, before we get into that specifically though, I do want to take a look at the Bitcoin chart and the altcoin index as we generally do. I think that looking at these two charts gives a pretty good gauge of where the market is at. Um, and, I, and I've been pretty, you know, pretty upfront about it on the channel that I do believe we're entering the phase of the cycle where altcoins will begin to outperform Bitcoin. And that is why I am looking to add to the strongest altcoins, the ones that have already been showing strength and the ones that I believe will continue to show strength. So if we take a look here at Bitcoin on the monthly you're going to notice that we were in this downtrending channel since March. And right now, Bitcoin has finally broken above this downtrending channel. Also broken above the bull market support band at about 63K more or less as Bitcoin is currently sitting over $67,000. And if we take a look here on the yearly chart for Bitcoin, uh, the weekly candles, these are the daily candles. Once again, showing a really similar thing, uh, just getting rejected here at this downtrending channel. And now we have finally broken above it. So the next thing I'm looking for when it comes to Bitcoin really would just be a retest of the $69,000 level, which was the 2021 all time high. And then above that, it would be this cycles high at about 74,000. But interestingly enough, I do think that all coins are starting to look better than Bitcoin here or rather just the overall all coin index which has not been the case for this bull market so far, okay? In fact, Bitcoin has been outperforming the vast majority of altcoins. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a five-year chart here. And uh, let's go ahead and let this load. So we can see here that all coins have also broken out of the downtrending channel that began in March or broken above the bull market support band and really just looking to break above this area of resistance at the 629, basically the $630 billion zone currently sitting at $612. And if all coins can get above that, I think that is when we'll see this, uh, this market really start to run. And keep in mind that while Bitcoin is within 10% of its all time high, the altcoin market as it currently sits uh, is still down like 45% from its all-time high. So in my opinion, lots of room for alts to run and outperform Bitcoin as we do continue through Q4 and go into 2025. Now, uh, I do want to talk about SUI specifically. And, you know, once again, as we're talking about altcoins now and the fact that I do think altcoins are going to begin to outperform, I am looking to add the altcoins showing the most strength and the ones that I think will continue to show strength. And I do believe SUI to be one of them i do think that this altcoin has the potential to go on a run similar to solana in terms of the market cap and solana um, i'm pretty sure is valued at about 69 or 70 bill sui currently sitting at 5.68 bill so yeah i do think that this altcoin has a lot of room to run and aside from, you know, having a faster TPS and, and faster time to finality than Solana, something else that the SUI team is looking to get into is the blockchain gaming sector. And given that the SUI blockchain can handle so many transactions, I think that it makes perfect sense for them to try and get into this, uh, this sector as well. And they basically were showcasing it here at a demo and the SUI co-founder teased community rewards for SUI play owners effectively 
possibly teasing some kind of airdrop for people who actually do purchase this uh, console. Now, is it a guarantee that this airdrop will be worth the $600 paid for the console? Obviously not. Um, but the Solana mobile phone, I know that you know people bought that and ended up making money on on that airdrop because they were airdrop certain meme coins, like I believe Bonk, which went on a crazy run after the airdrop. So there are some rewards being teased for people who do actually go ahead and purchase this system. They do have uh, their website here for the Sui gaming console as well. Um, so your favorite PC games natively integrated into this device. And uh, we're going to just continue scrolling here. Um, yeah, so discover new worlds, own your assets. That is one of the big appeals of blockchain based games. And then obviously earning rewards as well, which, uh, you know, hypothetically would be some sort of token or NFT on the chain. They give you all of the specs here for the community as well. The processor. Um, and yeah, in my opinion, like if Sui is able to get into this sector, I think that it would just be another bullish catalyst for this blockchain amongst the many that, that are, you know, pretty much already there. And they do have a little bit of a frequently asked uh, questions here as well. So it does support a wide range of PC games as well as new triple A titles developed using Sui technology and built on their blockchain. And I do think there is a ton of potential in the blockchain gaming sector. I just don't think we've seen any quality quality or too many uh, quality blockchain based games to really unlock this potential. Now off the grid here is a really good example of one. This was actually launched on an avalanche subnet. Okay. And this game looks amazing. It's getting a ton of positive traction from streamers. Um, and, and apparently it is doing pretty well. And it shows that yes, amazing games can in fact be built off of blockchains that are built to handle uh, the kind of throughput that these games actually need to run smoothly so uh if, if sui can do this as well with their chain then i do think that this could be just another big catalyst for the chain as we said earlier and i just want to highlight something okay because when it comes to these chains yes they do need to be built to actually handle the amount of transactions and the throughput that is required for these games and we've we've spoken about sui stats how you know solana's max tps is 65,000 sui sits at 297,000 and solana's time to finality is at about 12.8 seconds while sui is at 400 milliseconds we can actually see here on october 6th and 7th that sui beat out solana in terms of daily transactions uh clocking in about 42.4 million transactions per day compared to solana's 38.4 mil and 40. Point uh, 40.1 mil respectively and on these days where sui did flip solana in transactions you can see that the cost to send a transaction on solana was about three cents while on sui it was basically like a fraction of a penny so even while handling more transactions than solana sui was still much much faster and cheaper um, which is a big bull case for this token. I think Solana benefited a lot in the previous bull run from pretty much being, you know, like the fastest horse. Um, and, and it is no longer Solana. Sui does take that spot at the moment. So uh, really cool stuff from the Sui team. And I do look forward to seeing the launch of the Sui play. Hopefully it does lead to some bullish price action for the token as well and, and draw even more attention into the ecosystem. And speaking of the ecosystem, I did share this tweet uh, yesterday. So we can see here that over the past three months, for starters, we take a look at top 15 net flows overall. 1.1 bill, base with 332 mil, SUI with 314 mil. Let's take a look at the past seven days. And you're going to notice here that um, we have base in the lead with 69.5 mil, Solana with 40 mil, SUI with 38.3 mil. So catching up here to Solana over the past week. If we take a look at ecosystem, flows additionally so what this does is this is the flows from ethereum into all other chains i think it's worth looking at this um just simply because you know ethereum is the biggest blockchain by tvl so we want to know where the flows are going and let's go ahead and compare this to solana and sui okay we take a look here at the past seven days and um, yeah, Sui has actually taken 50.6% of the outflows from Ether, while Solana has taken 49.3. Over the past three months, Solana has taken 64.9% compared to Sui's 35%. And this shows you that as of more recently, more and more outflows have been moving over to Sui. Uh, it does still sit in eighth place here in terms of total value locked at 1.338 billion, behind AVAX sitting at 1.422 bill, and Bitcoin at 1.29. 
0.97. However, if we take a look at the non EVM chains here, um, which is really interesting, we can actually notice that Solana is in first place. And then we have Sui in second place. Okay, Solana with 56.08% of the market share for non EVM chains in terms of TVL and Sui at 6.2%. Okay, even beating out Bitcoin there at 6.01. So really interesting stuff happening from Sui. Uh, Solana does have, you know, give or take like nine to 10 X the TVL of Sui, but it is also 10 X the market cap over 10 X the market cap um, of Sui. So it does kind of make sense on that metric. And I do think that Sui could be a very interesting, basically catch up trade and just kind of like the next Solana trade for this cycle. Now to wrap things up, I do want to take a look at the Sui chart as well. The one thing that I am noticing here, we're on a weekly, I'm going to take us over to a daily and we're going to see that uh, Sui has actually fallen back below its prior, its prior all time high back in March at $2.18. Okay. We did see it get rejected here in October at that level, come back down, break above it, make a fresh high. And it is now back below that level. So kind of range bound in this pretty tight range of give or take 10% from $2 to $2.18. Now, if Sui does break the $2.18 zone, the next level I am looking for is that buck 75. And below that, I'd be looking at a buck 50, which was support here back in March uh, before Sui did run up to that uh, 218 level in late March, right at the end of March. Actually, this was March 30th um, or yeah, March 27th. Um, so that buck 50 zone is what I would be looking for next. Now, if Sui does break above 218, I would be looking for a run up back to this fresh all time high at 238. And above that, I mean, it would just be in price discovery mode once again. But it is bullish to see Sui holding that $2 zone, in my opinion, especially after such an impressive run up over the past year, uh, give or take like 440%. So on that note, I hope you all enjoyed the content in today's video. I hope you you are all staying happy, safe, and healthy, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out for now.